Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about how to use Storyboard That. This is the website here. It will also be in your Google Classroom, so you can click on that there as well if that's easier for you. Once you're there, you're going to lay out your storyboard. So you want to select Storyboard Layout and choose how you want it to be set up. I'm going to pick your typical traditional storyboard. You also need to make sure that you have all the cells that you want. In this case, there's only three. I need to have six, so I'm going to select them this way. You can do it across two. I'm going to say change layout. Next, I need to choose the background. I know that the interlopers takes place outside, so I'm going to scroll along here till I get to the outdoor area. Oh, wait, I need to click on that. So you want the outdoor up here. And you're going to slide along until you see what you want. I'm going to pick this one here, drop it there. You can change things about the way it looks here. I'm going to change the sky to black because it is nighttime. Next, I'm going to select my characters. So I'm going to scroll through and pick the ones I'd like. I'm going to check out the 1900s. This character here is who I'll pick for Ulrich. He reminds me of what I imagine him to look like. I can make him larger by dragging this. I can also rotate him by doing this. So I need to decide his hair color. I see him as being an older gentleman, so I will make it gray. I know that the story takes place in Eastern Europe, so I'm going to check this for the skin. And then you can choose what color eyes and what his clothes look like here. Next, I need to pick props. So I can look here. I know there aren't any guns there, so I can type guns in up here and hit enter. And then I have some to choose from. I'm going to choose the rifle. I'll drop that there. It's a little large for him, so I will make it a little bit smaller. And then I will drag it to put in his hand. I also need to include text um, thought bubbles. So I will choose textables and I can pick a thought bubble and place it there, drag it to where I'd like, and then I can type whatever I'd like. I'll type, hi George, although we know that he was definitely not that friendly in the beginning. You can choose your font and your color here as well. Once you're ready to save, you want to go to the save button which is behind my picture and you cannot see it. Once you click on it, it will prompt you to make an account. Use your Google account to make one and it will be set up for you. I will go over how to submit these later. All right, have a great day and have some fun with this. Can't wait to see what you guys create.